Hi guys, Kavi from UiPath Hex here. When I first started with UiPath, I first discovered the set text activity. Then I also noticed the type into activity, and I got confused. What was the difference? Which one should I use? Now, after more than a year of working with UiPath and after searching the official documentation and forum, I will attempt to perform a complete comparison of the two activities, try to put to rest this bugging question and allow us all to sleep at night again. Let us start by looking at the official documentation of the set text activity. So the set text enables you to write a string to the text attribute of a specified UI element. That's quite generic. Let's have a look at the properties. We have the alter if disabled property, which means um, if it is enabled, the action is executed even if the specified UI element is disabled. Uh, this is because the set text activity runs in the background. And uh, basically, this activity uses the simulate type property. I think we get this at the end. So this activity uses the simulate type property by default and cannot be changed, which means disabled elements are altered by default. It means it basically runs in the background and we can set the alter if disabled property to false and then the set text to not interact with disabled elements. But by default, it would because it is running a background. Now we could ask the question, okay, um, this is interacting with the text attribute. Do all the input fields have a text attribute or not? Uh, we will play today with uh, Yahoo Finance. So let's inspect some fields here and see if they do have a text property or not. Let's look at the properties. There is no text property. But if we do type here something and have a look again at the element, we will see that uh, there is a text property all of a sudden which contains my string, my enter, enter string. And we can take another input field, the search one. And let's have a look with the UI Explorer at this input field. And we will see again that there is a text property or attribute uh, where we have entered our string. So basically this means that um, you can interact with pretty much any input field with a set text. If we look at the other properties um, in the documentation, they are quite standard, um, nothing out of the ordinary. We have these properties pretty much in, in most of the activities. So let's have a look now at the type into activity. This basically sends keystrokes to, to an UI element. Special keys are supported. It means we can send things like enter and so on, and can be selected from the drop-down lists. It's basically saying we can add special keys from this drop-down list. Okay, so far so good. Let's go back to the documentation and let's look at the properties and we will see that we have quite a number of additional properties compared to the set text. We would notice the empty field property. If we check this, it will delete the previously entered text in that UI element. This is quite useful to make sure that um, you do have in that field what you expect to and not something from previous runs. Then we have the activate check. When this checkbox is uh, selected, the specified UI element is brought to the foreground and activated before the text is written. This is uh, basically useful if you want to focus the current screen. So this could be quite useful uh, at times. All right. Um, other than that, we have rather standard ones. Uh, we didn't speak about simulate type. This is quite important. Basically, if we select this, it simulates typing. It's not typing as a user would, uh, but it is basically uh, running in background. This is the important thing. So similar to set text, it can then uh, interact with uh, elements which are not visible as well, but sometimes uh, it is not compatible with all desktop applications. So don't be surprised if simulate type 
might fail at times. It will not uh, enter the text you, you expect. And it's recommended that if you, if you do use this property, then it's good to check the state of the UI element prior to executing it, uh, to make sure that you can interact with it. All right, so we have a number of additional attributes here in type into, like simulate type, empty field, and activate. All right, so enough theory, let's compare the two activities now. We will use five criteria for comparison and award one point to either of the two activities if they perform well against th that criteria. Let's start with the first one. Do they allow special keys? Being considerate of your time, I've already uh, prepared the workflow we will use for testing here, and we have basically a set of activities to test the set text, another set of activities to test the type into, then a different one to test the type into with simulate, and a last one where we will see if we can interact uh, with some element without specifying a selector. So let's start with the set text activity. I've basically taken the time before we start activity, the time after, and then I would show a message subtracting the start time from the end time and show uh, how many seconds and milliseconds the activity needed to complete, just to be able to compare later the time. But if we look at the set text activity, we have no way to specify special keys. And if we look at the type into activity, we can specify here some special keys. So we can, for example, say, let's put an enter at the end. Let me comment the rest and run this. So what we're doing is we are typing a text here in Yahoo Finance. We are typing basically the name of a, of a company, of a stock, and um, the first time, the first set of activities, uh, it's entering the text with set text, measuring the time it takes, and um, then showing it. And then the second one is entering the text again and hitting enter, enter at the end, because this type into uh, is allowing special keys. So let's run this. So we see we have basically um, seen that the set text has entered the name of the company, Nordic American Tankers, and then uh, the type into has entered again the name of the company and hit enter because we have been taken to the uh, detailed screen of this stock. Um, so we've seen that uh, in this type into did not empty the field, so let's try that as well. Let's set this to true, and let's run again. And now we see that basically uh, when entering the second time, um, type into has cleared the field before running this. So let's go back to our criteria. Do they allow special keys? Type into does allow special keys. Set text does not allow special keys. So one point for type into, zero points for set text. Can they empty the field? We have seen already that set text has no property to empty the field, and type into does have this property, and we have set this to true in the previous example. So one additional point for type into uh, with a total of two points, and still zero points for set text. Can they run in background? So set text runs in background by default. This cannot be changed. We have seen this already, and for type into, we can set the running background um, option. We could use the third option here. I will uncomment this. Basically, we need to click the simulate type, and this will run activity in background. In this case, we can't use the special keys anymore. If I would run this in background and try to hit an enter, let's see what will happen. Type into can run in background, but in this case we can't use the special keys anymore. So if we try to, to um, use an enter here after the name of the company and use similar type, this should not work because the enter will be interpreted as a string and not as a special key. So let's go back to the home page and run this. So 
So we've seen, we've seen basically uh, set text has entered the company name and type into has entered the company name and this k brackets enter as a string. It has not interpreted this as a special key. So when we run type into in background, we can't send special keys. So in this, um, in this sense, it is similar to set text. So uh, here, both of them score one point because they can both run in background. So type into three points, set text one point. The fourth criteria is which one is faster. So let's run this three times. We run the set text activity and measure the time. We would run then type into without simulate type and measure the time. I will take the enter out so that it stays on the same page. And then we would run the type into with simulate and measure the time. All right, let's run this and see which one is faster. All right, so we have three times here. The set text activity needed 0.55 seconds to complete. The type into activity needed 1 second 0.15, so uh, more than double of the time to complete. But the type into activity with simulate type needed 0.52 seconds to complete. So we see the type into with simulate type is much faster than the normal type into, which uses the keyboard. It's uh, more than twice as fast. And it's even a bit faster than the set text activity. And of course, these numbers uh, being so close, they would vary a bit. So we can run this a few times to get the new numbers and see if they are consistent. So now it's 0.56 for the set text activity and 0.52. So um, similar type is still faster. Let's run it a few more times. 0.54. And 0.52, it's still faster. One last time. 0 0.54, 0 0.52. So type into activity with similar type is slightly faster than set text activity, but they're very comparable. So for that reason, I have decided to award both activities here one point. So type into has four points and set text two points. Do they need an explicit selector? Now, sometimes when you are working with dynamic windows or files, for example, Excel files, opening other Excel files dynamically during the run, it is a bit hard to point to and specify some selectors because they are just appearing and disappearing. Uh, you can't really uh, use um, Excel activity scope, for example, or an attach window activity. And it would be really useful if you could use the currently selected UI element and type some text there rather than having to select that element um, with a selector and then typing some text. And for this test, basically set text uh, has to have a UI element. It does not work without it. And let's use the last one. Uh, here we have basically a click and a type into without specifying a selector. And if I try to run this, basically uh, I am clicking first on this field here and then I am attempting to type into this text without having selected any UI element for this activity because I'm trying to use the previously activated activity here. So let's see if this will run. And yes, we have seen the click and then we have seen that the type into activity was able to enter this text even though um, it did not have a selector of its own. So this is really useful in many cases. And let's try to do the same with set text. Let's just put a text here and uh, attempt to run this as well. Yeah, we get the error message that um, an element was not specified for this activity. So um, we did not get an error before running this because we had no selector. But when we attempted to 
enter the text here, we got a click, and then the error from uh, UiPath saying that uh, we had no target element uh, for this activity. So for the last criteria, for the fifth one, type into gets one point because it is able to basically enter text when there is no selector. And that brings type into to five points and set text to two points. So my conclusion, based on the five criteria above, type into smashes the set text with a score of five to two. And it's a clear winner. Considering the score alone, it looks like the set text activity might quickly become obsolete. But a direct comparison on these criteria might not do set text right. To be fair, while the type into activity is much more widely spread um, than the set text activity, there is still some application for set text in some very particular scenarios. In some applications, the type into with simulate type does not work and set text could work. So it is worth to keep this in mind and give it a try before giving up. So this was um, today's video. I hope you'll find this useful and I hope you'll be able to take a more informed decision uh, next time when you think about using type into or set text. If you found this useful, please hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing and see you next time. Hey guys, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss out on future content. Thanks.